uh, I thought I'd show you guys the um, inject pre-turbo injector controller that I just finished building. Put it in this box and taped it up uh, to keep moisture and such out. Uh, so I've set my power supply to 14 volts. Simulate a car when it's running. Uh, we have a map sensor right here. So the point of the map sensor is to only turn on the pre-turbo injector under boost. So if it's not under boost, then the um, wastegate's going to be open. Not the wastegate, the blow-off valve's going to be open, and we don't want fuel just pouring out of the, the blow-off valve into the engine bay. So it's going to turn that off. So this right here means that the injector's on. So if I put a little bit of vacuum right here, see that that light turned on which means that the injector was then off because it was under vacuum so under boost um, I set it to 95 uh, kPa just so it hits right before boost the the injector turns on and so the injector plugs in over here and then we also have so those two wires connect to just 12 volts or the the battery of the car and this one attaches to the first um, injector uh, of the car so it, it attaches to the negative terminal because the positive terminal is always um, hot and the negative terminal is controlled by the CPU so because it's going through an injector when the ECU is not triggering the injector it's going to be high. So if I go ahead and attach this to high, you can see that it turns the injector off. But when it turns it low, it turns the injector on. So this in effect will give us the, the same injector pulse width as all the other injectors. And so that way it can kind of progressively come on with the boost. Thanks.